Hello everyone, this is Stunt Collector here with another action figure review. And here I have the Walmart exclusive Venomized Captain America figure. Uh, this guy, I've pre-ordered him through Walmart many, like once, and uh, it kept getting delayed. Same deal with the uh, cable figure that I've also done before. So I just canceled the orders once I found them. So in the box here, you get that Spider-Man Maximum Venom logo there through the TV series. And then here's the side art of the Venomized Captain America. Here's the back. If you guys want to pause and read that, you can. And same artwork into this other side here. Nothing on the top. And then here's the bottom with the, DC, with the DCPI for you. Besides that, let's crack them open. And here he is out of packaging here. And he only has one accessory, which is his shield here. So I like it a lot. It has a metallic blue, navy blue on it. And this is a separate piece. So if you guys want to, you can pop that off like that. And then it's basically his normal shield. I don't have, uh, well, I do have one Captain America, the werewolf one, and that has a lighter red and blue with it. Uh, this one has that like old fashioned clip, like switch uh, through the back here instead of the straps like the end game to Captain America and stuff like that. I prefer the straps, the two straps that hold, uh, that they hold instead of the flip peg thing. I don't, I don't know if I like that really because it just pops out re really weirdly so I don't like it but I kind of understand it so you, that way you can plug this on the back but I prefer the straps more uh, but yeah we've seen this shield before uh, it's just a repaint but for this you get that little white uh, design like the shield does there you get that venomized star there that's really cool I like all the goo and stuff there and then you get that little start and then there so yeah this is pretty cool and then to get it back on you just want to pop it back on like that and then boom easy and then that's it for the accessories so here's the venomized captain america here so i like it a lot it looks real cool um you get that little venomized a and then what's really cool about this, like, you know how he has the wings on the side of his helmet for the eyes. It kind of blends in with that. So that's really cool. And it goes farther out, too. That's really cool. And then I like the, how, what they did with the teeth, too. Those look real cool. The tongue is all the way back there. You get that black little paint in the back. You get the gums nice and pink there. You get some more of that like dark navy blue throughout the figure and then once you get up to the scales kind of you get more of that metallic navy blue so it's more reflective like that right here and then you get more that venomized star there I like that a lot and you get more of that goo like spewing out there and i like what they did with the scales where it's like not consistent like the suit is mainly because the venom symbiote is like taking over so like that a lot and then you know he has those red and white stripes down here the venom kind of messes with it a little bit so that's really cool and you get another star in the back here um then you get the white sleeves here and then you get the claws which we've seen before this is repainted to be blue <laughs> and you get these like gauntlets here or for his gloves so that's really cool uh, for the pants, I think these are brand new. i never seen these before. So he has like these cool knee pads here. You get the bulky boots here. That, that looks really cool. So I like that a lot. It's really cool. But besides that, let's go over his articulation here. So his head can hinge down that far, up that far. And the only thing that kind of makes me feel, it, it, look, it seems like he has a little bit of a long neck than that normal, to be honest. It looks really weird like out of proportion or something like that. I don't know. It doesn't really fit well, especially with looking at it from the side. But yeah, you give him to look, go left and right. You get a little head pivoting there, so that's good. His shoulders can go out a little past 90 degrees. You get 360 rotation around the shoulder. You got bicep swivel here, double jointed elbows. His wrist can hinge down that far, up that far, 360 rotation. He has an ab crunch, so he could go, go forward just that far backwards a little bit. 
He has a waist swivel, so 360 rotation around there. His legs can kick out pretty far. Forward, really far. Backwards, like a little. He does have a thigh cut there. He has double jointed knees. He has a boot cut here. Uh, his ankles can hinge down that far, up that far, nice ankle pivot. I want to have it hold, just be like that. Boom, just clicks in there. I feel like the blue here is a little different from that. It's more metallic or reflective, lighter blue here, but that's okay. And I guess I wish they had this trap because there's no peg hole in the back for him to hold it. So, eh, it's all well. So I think this figure is really cool. Um, I just think that the, the blue here is a little more lighter than that, but it's not gonna bother me a whole bunch. I like the design of it a whole lot. I like the figure a lot. Uh, and he falls. That's the only problem that I kind of have with him. He's a little tough to get in this stand, but that's mainly because he's kind of still stiff. I still gotta mess with it a little bit to get more loose. So that way I can get him in a better pose maybe. But besides that, it's a really cool figure. Uh, and then hopefully later on, they'll do uh, more venomized Avengers like Iron Man, Thor, Hulk, and those guys. Um, because I like the idea. And I think they could do a really good job with those figures. They did a good job on this. So yeah, but I don't really have any complaints really. Um, but besides that, that's all I've got.